Hey everyone, we're really glad to be with you on this Wednesday afternoon. God wants us to be people radiant with joy. Rejoice in the Lord always, says Philippians 4.4. 4. And the Bible even says that by faith we are to rejoice in suffering. In 1 Thessalonians 5.17, it says, Give thanks to God for everything, for this is the will of Christ Jesus for you. That's hard, but people of faith can do it. To be grateful as a believer is to be aware of how we've got really big blessings, even when so many other things in our life are not going right. We are destined for infinite joy for eternity. We have the companionship of Christ in this world. We have lives of meaning and purpose. We have access to power beyond our own to make changes and to deal with injustice and extend compassion and to make the world around us better. We always have a million different things to give thanks for, even the bad, big things that happen in our lives. I was just reading this morning about a woman who had breast cancer. It was going through a lot of pain in the treatment. She really wanted to be healed. She really wanted to be relieved from the pain. She really believed that God would be able to do it. But what she most prayed about and what she would be giving thanks for was if through the whole process, however it turned out, she would be in her character refined like gold and would shine with the radiance of the Lord as a witness and an encouragement to others. So we have big things to give thanks for as well as a lot of little things if we have the eyes to notice and to rejoice in them. And we had a friend um, that had a little boy and at prayer time when he was laying there and didn't really want to go to sleep, he would thank God for his bedroom and he would thank God for his bed, and he would thank God for mommy and daddy, and then it would go to the trees that the wood came from his bed, then it was the carpenter that built the bed, and then it was the nails that held the bed together, and you can kind of see where this is going. And dad was in a crisis because he didn't want to stop his child from having a thank-filled heart, but he knew the child really just wanted to go to bed. <laughs> so we're not learning from that to procrastinate with God, but the takeaway is to be thankful for the little things, for that carpenter, for the nails that were holding the bed together, for the tree that's out there, and for us in life to have eyes to see the little things, for a sliced bread that we can make a sandwich easily that doesn't fall apart, for post-it notes that we can mark things and not mark our book when we're using the post-it note. So we just give you encouragement to look for the big things and give thanks to God for, look for the little things as well. All of it can be a blessing when you have eyes to see. We look forward to seeing you on Friday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.